Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. So in today's video. So being like recently single, I've realized quickly that I need some help with a few things. I need help with my laundry and clean my room. I need somebody to who can help me not spend my money on like stupid shit and just somebody to give me some attention. Any takers? Anybody at all? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I know I've posted a lot of videos like this in the past with men coming out and talking about this. And a lot of women will be like, oh, this is a rage baiting video. This is to rage bait. This is, this is, <laughs> this is not rage baiting. This is exactly how it feels. I checked out his page and he was explaining himself and all that. So I know that he meant what he said. All right. A couple of days ago, I posted this video where we were talking about the long term girlfriends and one of the ladies were talking about, was talking about wifey duties. And yes, it sounds, is it derogatory to assume that wives are supposed to cook and clean? But that's what a lot of men have come to expect from women. Right. And so usually is the wives that end up cooking and cleaning for them. And I saw this lady who, um, I don't know if I can find that video, but if I do, I'll insert it. But she was talking about, let's bring back those days that men were sent into the forest, men were sent to war, and those ones who were able to come back were the ones who were able to find wives and were able to procreate. Like you had to go through something to be able to access women. And when you did access the women, they ended up, you know, um, taking care of you, cooking for you, cleaning for you, having your children, because maybe you put your life on the line. Maybe you were able to save people. Maybe you did something extraordinary to deserve that kind of, uh, uh, is it service? Okay. From women or from the women who, or from the woman who ends up being your wife. Okay. But these days, these men, they don't go through anything and they, they, they kind of expect the same treatment like before. You just didn't have to go out there, put a video out there and have women lining up auditioning for you. Yeah. Someone was asking him, so what do you bring to the table? And then he was like, good looks, a good, a good job and being a protector. And if you read the rest of the comments, the ladies were coming for him. Okay. They came for him. They dragged him because who are you protecting? And every woman can have a job. Okay. Or has a job. And these days, everyone is required to make their own money. And you know, there's alarm systems like the other, someone said in the comment section. So who are you protecting us from? So. When we take those things, two things away, because we can do those things by ourselves, the only thing you're bringing to the table is your good looks. Because you believe that because you are a pretty boy, you are, you're supposed to get some kind of pretty privileges from women. I'm glad that the woman he was dealing with left him. Maybe she got tired of cooking and cleaning and, you know, making him happy. Because did you hear what he said? Aside wanting someone to cook and clean, he wants someone to give him some attention. Right. Because he believes he deserves it because of his looks. That's what he's looking for in a woman. OK, now let's get into some of the responses and I'm going to come back and talk some. Well, being like recently single, I've realized quickly that I need some help with a few things. I need help with my laundry and clean my room. I need somebody to who can help me not spend my money on like stupid shit and just somebody to give me some attention. Any takers, anybody at all. So a woman who does your laundry for you, cleans your room for you, and gives you attention is typically, you would typically call her mommy. You're not looking for a girlfriend, you're looking for a mommy. You should ask yours if she'll let you move back in, if that's the setup that you really want. And to the women in the comments that are like, oh my gosh, you're just perfect, and like, oh, I guess I could use help with like my car and my oil change and stuff like that. First of all, look up Halo Effect and realize that you're doing that and you're no better than the men who are only after women for their looks uh, because there's no way in hell that y'all would be saying any of this under this man's video if he was like not conventionally attractive no way y'all would all be telling him to go back to his mom's house and the other thing you need to realize is that and you make the trade-off with a man of i'll do your laundry i'll keep the house clean i'll cook the meals I will monitor your spending habits. And the trade-off for that is he takes your car in for an oil change every once in a while after you've nagged him and reminded him about it for three weeks and then you put on a calendar and then you called and scheduled the oil change yourself and then he like missed the first appointment but then you rescheduled it and then he finally took your car in. It upsold him on a bunch of shit because he's dumb and doesn't actually know anything about cars. Like, that's gonna be your life. And meanwhile, you've spent 
months, maybe years, cleaning up after this man, cooking him dinner, keeping an eye on his spending habits, doing his laundry, all this. And all he has to do in return is take your car in for an oil change or like do an oil change on your car. You're selling yourself very, very short. And I really think there's like a correlation between women who want kids ending up with men like this because this is not daddy material. Okay, that's another important thing for you to realize as a woman who is like thinking about dating this man or a man like this. You need to realize that he is terrible father material because he doesn't want to be a father. He wants to be a baby. He wants to have a mother. And so when you get together with this man at first, this exchange will feel very natural. It's very important for you to remember that's what your relationship is actually built on. This is not a short term benefit that you're providing to this man, you know, in order for him to like learn how to do better by you and by himself. This is a contract setup that you are actually entering with this man that it's going to be like this forever. So when you do actually have a child with a man like this and you are now surprised because he's not, he hasn't learned how to cook, clean, feed the baby, take care of the baby, you know, do laundry for the baby. That's because he's the baby. He's the baby. And now the baby is actually cramping his style. So you know what he's going to do? He's going to go out and cheat on you with a woman who has the space and time in her life to treat him like a mommy would because now you're an actual mommy to an actual baby and he doesn't have his mommy anymore. If you need help with laundry or cleaning or cooking or not spending your money recklessly, you are not a self-actualized and complete human being. You are a literal child, a literal child. And you admitting it shouldn't be endearing to women. You admitting it should be a huge red flag. And even worse, instead of like admitting it and working on it and working to make yourself like a self-fulfilled and self-actualized human being, you're admitting it and you are trying to recruit somebody else to do all those things for you. So not only are you incompetent, you're also weak and you don't want to learn. That's really unattractive. It's actually not desirable at all, Danny. And I'm worried about you and I'm worried about other men. Not only do y'all use women for all sorts of fucked up things like an outlet for your violence, an outlet for your perversions, baby making machines. You also just literally want women to live your life for you so that you have more time for what? Stupid shit. Exactly. Stupid shit. It doesn't contribute to your life meaningfully or to her life meaningfully. You just want to be able to fuck around and do whatever you want. Meanwhile, there's a woman at home folding your laundry, cooking your meals, and cleaning up after you. That's fucking crazy. You can't even live on your own with those credentials. Safely and healthily. So what are you possibly bringing to a woman's life other than burden? Nothing. Nothing. And the sooner women realize this, the sooner we can actually be liberated from getting into relationships with guys like Danny, thinking that, you know, his good looks are going to do anything for you as a woman other than make it easier for him to cheat on you with another woman when he needs somebody new to play mommy with. When you have an actual baby and you're an actual mom, he's going to need somebody else to take your place because you're now being used on the baby. Stay away from him, ladies. I swear to God, this is fucking crazy. All right. I love you all. Godspeed. So being like recently single, I've realized quickly that I need some help with a few things. Help with what? I need help with my laundry and clean my room. I need somebody to who help me not spend my money and just somebody to give me some attention any takers i posted a video recently of this 27 year old man who said he longed for the days of the 1800s and 1900s where women love to cook and love to clean and they dreamed of taking care of kids i saw a comment that somebody uh, put on one of my videos and it said men are looking for a maid a mattress and a mule and that's one of the truest statements i've ever heard because this man is asking for the same thing are you looking for love or a mommy if you want your place to be clean, hire a maid, or better yet, clean it yourself. If you're looking for somebody to help you with your finances, hire a financial advisor. These are the same men that like to ask women, what do you bring to the table? You know exactly what we bring to the table. Those are the things that you're looking for, but you want us to tap dance and to audition for you and act like what we're doing is not enough, but you crave what we bring. You gotta hear what he's saying and how he's saying it. Now that he's recently single, he realizes that he needs help with laundry and someone to clean his room. I wonder if that's what he kept her around for. If a man starts talking about how he wants to be in a relationship, but it sounds more like a help wanted ad, run. My take on it is that he's just being a spiteful little troll because his ex broke up with him. And so he was listing off all the reasons why she said he she was leaving him and decided to make this uh, shit stain of a video hoping she'll see and she'll get mad. And again, I don't think it's going to work. I think she's going to continue to live her life without you, and you're going to continue to live in squalor. 
Have a fucking day, sir. What I'm going to add is he said specifically he wants takers, meaning you know them women who like to build a man, the women who always want to fix something, fix somebody, heal somebody, and those are the kind of women I think he's referring to. And also I agree with the last lady that he may be doing it to spite the ex, just to, just so she understands that he can find any woman he wants whenever he wants. So all he has to do is put himself out there on the internet. And the fact that there are so many women who are praising him for his looks and, you know, they're like, he's a fine man and so on and so forth. Like the first lady said, <laughs> you need to check that. It doesn't just take looks. If it's just looks, then all the pretty boys will find themselves in like great relationships. But the thing is, most of these pretty boys end up like, just like this one, getting into relationship, getting dumb, getting into relationship, getting dumb, and so on and so forth because of how they see themselves. Also, he, he's just like the man who said he wants a home buddy for a relationship and the man who said he misses, um, um, how women cook and how women clean. Except for him, he said the quiet part out loud because this is how men manipulate women. Like the other videos, they were being manipulated by saying, Oh, I just, you know, miss how a woman smells. I just want a home buddy. I just like the way women do it because women do it better. Okay. But he's like, I just want someone to come and cook and clean for me you know, help me with my finances and, and, and just, you know, give me some attention because I'm a pretty boy and I deserve attention from women. And so if you want to sign up, hit me in my DMs, you didn't add that, I'm just saying. But this is the mindset of a lot of men, okay? This is how they see women. They believe that women are just supposed to come into their lives and please them, do what they want them to do, right? And yeah, they've come to expect those things from women. Women know your worth. This all proves that women bring a lot into men's lives, okay? They need us to survive, whether they choose to believe it or not. When the lady said we are the table, yeah, this is what it means. You need us to survive. So know your worth and add taxes. Don't be doing things like this for men just because of the way they look or they have a job and, and so on and so on. Like the first lady said, because he will change your car uh, or your, can't you go and change it to yourself? You can do those things. The things that you give away for free, for the bare minimum. This is the bare minimum. There's nothing else, right? So know your worth, value yourself, add taxes, and don't fall for this. This is rubbish. That's all. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.